Hello and welcome to Five Days of Stranger. And uh, I'm Aaron, and with me tonight is uh, Tyrone. Maybe. And we are dressed as Hulk Hogan. Oh, uh, wait, no. Mushroom Man or Andy Savage? Anyways, we're playing Five Days of Stranger. This is an old adventure game made by a man who would later on go to be internet famous, known as Yahtzee of zero punctuation fame. But back in the day before that, he actually made some games. Um, this is one of them. There's a reason why he's a reviewer. I I'm just kidding. I'm giving him shit. So what we got here is the plot line. Um, there's an heir who's died, and we are playing a gentleman thief wearing a fedora, or a trilby. It's trilby, get it right. Don't, don't mix up the two. And They're we're, very distinct. We're going to start up here. So, welcome to day one of Five Days, A Stranger. I don't know what that stuck on there, but, you know, he made it in. And, ah, the gentleman thief makes his entrance. He, right. he looks more like a Mexican masked wrestler, to be honest. You mean a luchador? So, here's yes. our, our <laughs> interface bar down here. Ooh, spooky noises. Uh oh. Uh, let's let's go ahead and let's let's try. Let's let's just walk around. Yeah, we'll investigate everything. Yeah. Um, nothing. Just some spooky whispers. Yeah. Why why did we um use a grappling hook to get in here? There's that doesn't appear to let us go out. Like. All right, so we're here for the safe. Not much of a... Uh... Damn, it's empty. All right, well, I guess it's time to leave. So let's go to the window. Uh-oh, won't open. Must have been jarred shut somehow. That's some weird non-American way of saying it's not going to open. Barred, maybe? Who knows? What? Oh, no. No, stay away from me. Stay away. My boring gray text. You'll interrupt everything I've got going. Aww, womp womp. He looks even more like what you would expect a fedora wear to look like. With the long hair than you thought he would with the... With not seeing his face. Hey, let's ease up. We might have some fedora wearers in the audience. Let's have a look at this, this, no, the door behind Trilby. The door. The, the door. The door. The door. The, the fedora. Alright. Um, wait, locked. hold on. How is locked a problem for you? I thought you were a master thief. He's a gentleman thief. <laughs> oh. Oh, yeah. Somebody might be, like, showering or changing their clothing in there. Um, wait a minute. Well, let's make some let's, bad let's, mistakes let's, right away. Okay. So, okay. there's the, ba the bidet, so this does not take place in America. This house isn't even worth stealing from. Let's, let's use our hand on the stairs here. Well, you gotta use the handrail, you don't wanna slip. No, no. It, it's forcing me to use the feet. Can I, can I feet, please? There we go. Uh, what do you think? Call for help or read the newspaper? I think we need to catch up on uh, newspaper for the sports scores. What do they even play in whatever land he's from? Got him. A breast. Yeah. <laughs> All right. You didn't tell me what was happening, Trilby. I'm not sure what to do I think with we you either. Took the newspaper. Um. I don't think so yet. All right. Well, I'll tell you what. Let's uh, let's get out of here. Let's kick down the door. Let's do it. I know you're not. You're a gentleman. No latch. No chain. No deadbolt. It doesn't even have a keyhole. Are you sure that this is not just a painted-on door? <laughs> We're a gentleman thief, but also really stupid. 
lines dead. Somehow I was expecting that. It had setup written all over it. So I walked into a different door and talked to myself. Oh, this is nice. It's... Aww. If you don't stop and... You know, it really bothers me that he... Like, I understand pathing is difficult for these kinds of games to have right, but he does some laps around every room. He's gotta... He's gotta do a little bit of cardio. As a thief, you're supposed to only value stealing. Haven't you seen things? Haven't right. you seen pain and gain? I know. Let's go American. By the way, this is the premise. some places where there's only one plug in an electrical socket, and that's why they had to have one thing plugged into the far left uh, and one not plugged I mean, into the far right. I don't know, maybe it works differently in Australia, Britain land. I like how we're going to attribute every flaw in this game to just being vaguely Australian or British. I mean, he could have, like, just have one plug coming out and I... We didn't even... We don't even know us. which of the two countries he's from. <laughs> We're frauds. Alright. Um... What does remain clear is that this report was way too exposition -y. BBC News. Yeah, you know, British Broadcasting Channel. What else would it be? Something about the minister... The Babby Barbecue Channel. Straya. Hey. Oops. It's about time you showed up. You have money, right? Is this your drug dealer? You're the guy who owns this place, right? No. Oh. How'd you get in here? Looks like the house has a new guest. Gong! Gong! That was actually a decent joke where he's like, I hope no one else shows up because we only have five chairs here. Alright, that's Hardy. Philip Hardy. Call him Phil. And we're Trilby. Um, Mr. Hey, Trilby. Hey, Ron, I feel like um, I missed the opportunity earlier when they were talking about this being Defoe Manor to make a joke about how these are relatives of Willem Defoe. I don't know why you would go for such low-hanging fruit, but proceed. <laughs> I mean, I'm, I'm, it's kind of over, so I can't think of something like too appropriate. Man, I really remember there being more from the soundtrack during these cutscenes. I I feel like maybe I'm going to have to add some spooky scare chords. Or, you know, the theme from the X-Files. <laughs> <laughs> or uh, John Cena's theme. One of those seven. Alright. Um... So, he's listing the people we will meet later anyway, I think. Yep. Second, Simone Taylor. You probably know her off the telly. She's a correspondent for the barbecue. She came here to make some kind of documentary, I think, but now she's stuck here with us. Lastly, there's AJ. I really wish that this was actually a heist film, and he had brought this crew together. <laughs> An unlikely group come together to form the heist true of a lifetime. Oceans 5. Oceans 5 Days of Stranger. <laughs> Alright. Uh, 
you know, I'm stuck in here. I have nothing better to do, and I haven't even taken my hands out of my pockets this entire conversation. But okay, go time, assemble. Time everyone. for me to go backwards through the store. <laughs> yeah. Um. So one of the big complaints about this game, and you know, take it with a grain of salt because this was made by one man. He had to make all of this, more or less, as far as I know. Um, is that there's a lot of wandering through the same areas, which kind of makes sense because you know you're. I mean, that was a long conversation there. It's an adventure awesome. game, and it's a relatively small one, so... I mean, granted, I feel like that is a mistake I would make in making my own adventure game, is having dialogue that's just a little bit too long. You're talking over the spooky whispering now. Um... Those are clearly birds. Stop being paranoid. There's, Everything's fine. There's no such thing as mysterious. Hey, um, lady. Um, do you want to make a knob joke here? Or? Uh, I'll, I'll let you do that. Alright. Um, hey, is that brass or are you happy to... S okay. Um, I can't lay hands on her, so let's try exclaiming her. It won't answer... Wow! That's kind of messed up, dude. <laughs> it won't answer me. I know she works as a journalist, but you can treat her as a human. You must have seen me on TV. I'm kind of a big deal. And you are? Hat. Got a first name? No. Not the cat burglar hat. Oh, wow. <laughs> uh, Crime Watch, which is like hard copy. You know, something no one's ever heard of. You wouldn't consent to an interview, would you? Is that like you wouldn't download a car? Um, so yeah, we're stuck in this house, and Shelby's going to be wittier than everyone else because he's kind of a, you know, what is bandied about as a Mary Sue. He is a main character who is liked by the guy making the game, if that makes sense. Yeah. So, I mean, begrudge the man. Um, I'll see you later, Mr. Trilby. And by later, I mean not much later, because there's not much else we can go. So do you think we're going to get her walking down the stairs as well? Yes! <laughs> and then she clips into non-existence. Strange woman. Phasing out of existence like that. Now let's go in here. Oh, it's locked. Okay. Um, let's head... Want to go to the bathroom? Yeah, maybe, maybe somebody else is there and we can stop being a gym. No, oh, oh. Uh, well, let's pull this curtain closed. Hey, oh, wait, there's a window. There we go. Ah, uh, it's jammed shut. Um, let's look at this steel plate nailed to the wall. <laughs> I could really do with a haircut. Yes, you could, hippie! Hippie! Let's, let's, Dear let's, viewers, don't dare wear your hair long. If you are enjoying this video, shave your head and send us pictures of you with a shaved head and like give us a, a thumbs up in the in the picture but not on the video. Uh, because I'm still trying to walk into it. Uh oh. Do you hear that? Looks like we're getting real spooky now. <laughs> Here's a portrait. It's too big to carry around with me. Oh no! It's that one guy from Curious George, his cousin who wears orange instead of yellow. I think he's just Gordon Freeman, like in the second game before he gets his uh, hazmat suit. It's just, you know. So that's why everybody was looking at you all funny. They were like, where'd this guy get the orange suit from? Is this. Alright, so let's find a hamster and put it in the microwave. Oh, wait, oh. I mean, you gotta dry it off. No one cares if I starve in this place. Okay. N now the joke is over. Alright, let's try to open this window. Look, you said you leave through windows. I'm trying to help you, buddy. <laughs> Alright, so there's some salt there. 
It's a large bag of salt. Oh yeah. What so, kind of salt is it? Is it uh? Here's the newspaper. Is that's... it kosher salt? Um, I have no idea. So that's the newspaper. That's our like plot premise. Um, and it has some information in it that we need that I will just magically remember when we need it. Um, and this is the Grawly. It's an umbrella. But it's like a super umbrella. Like, have you ever seen um, The Kingsman? No. Of course you haven't. Um, uh-oh. Uh-oh, we're getting real spooky. Spooky doors. Okay. This is like stalker levels of stuff happening in the background, but only via audio. All right, pick up sticks, he said to himself stupidly. <laughs> um, can we climb the tree? Hey. Um, we'll be right back. We said hey to a tree. Or no, someone else said hey to us. It was that really generic guy that ran right away in fear at the start. And over here, the world just ends. Um, so let's go back. And it ends and appears to be a pipeline from the pool. Yeah, I Which did not understand that when be... I first played the game, and I still don't really understand. Maybe that was meant to be like a diving board? Alright, so let's talk to this tree here. Is there someone up in the tree? Oh, hi. You're new. Have you come to set us free? No, apparently. I'm a prisoner now, too. But... I'm guessing you must be Jim. What were you doing in the tree? I thought I might be able to get over the wall. But the tree's too far. And there's this ravine just outside the wall, too. I don't want to have a slight tumble. <laughs> Alright. So, we've successfully assembled most of the Avengers now. Alright. What's um, that little shack there? This is... Let's talk it. Let's talk to it. Um, this is like a pool room, like when you own pools because you're not poor. Um, wait, hold on. I've been to people's houses who own pools, and I do not recall like a little pool shed. Well, okay. yeah. I guess it's locked, so maybe it's not actually a pool shed. In like big fancy houses, they have them, and like some of them are adequate places oh, for people to spend like the night. you mean like a pool house? Yeah. Where if you're rich, that's actually just your guest house? Yes. Hey. How's it going? Gordon Freeman. Alright, um... Okay, more spook... spook Looks like we're getting real spooky now! Ah, our new arrival has graced us with his presence, and I've managed to get my hands out of my pockets. Uh-oh, you're missing a chair, buddy. Let me see if I've got this clear in my head. You're all trapped in this house by some invisible intelligence. Right. And you can't leave. Nope. And as soon as I entered, I became trapped too. Please have the brown guy answer. Perfect. Why would anyone want to keep us prisoner here? Maybe they're just lonely. Ooh. Dun, dun, dun. I really hope you at home can read. Um, if you can't, basically they're going to the suspicion of one of them's doing it. Um, but assuming you're literate, um, they're talking. There's a lot of talking in this game. It's fine. We'll enjoy ourselves all the same. We'll get spooky. Do you think that um, that China is used, or is that just kind of like set up and it's like, hey, have a look, see how we're living? We've got six plates and then th three smaller plates. Oh wait, five. Um, We've got a gravy boat, son. All right, let's share information. No secrets. Why'd you come to this house? He's a cat burglar. Why do you even have to ask? Big Brother. Like, the reality show? I know that that's still on, but that does risk dating this. So, you know. The, listen, the Big Brother TV show is like the Vietnam War. It doesn't end, and the casualties are numerous. 
That was a horribly accurate metaphor. <laughs> So, have you enjoyed this talking segment? You know, we they should he should remake this game, but it has a mass effect um, dialogue cut, wheel. Cut dialogue wheel. Uh, I'm playing Renegade Trilby. <laughs> All right, so we have to ask everyone questions. Um, what do you know about the mansion? What do you know about the mansion? What can you tell me about the Reapers? I've heard some pretty disturbing stories about it. Here we go. Weird happenings around it for decades. M. Night Shyamalan. Of the original owner and his son. People have gone missing in the area around the house more than anywhere else in the country. People from all walks of life. You do the walk. You do the walk, walk of, of life. life. <laughs> <laughs> I think I can just push the two key. How'd you come to be here? That's a lot easier than trying to find that. A crime documentary. Oh, wait, no, it's a spooky ghost documentary, sorry. Yeah. She's ghost chasing. I mean, when she mentioned a crime thing on BBC earlier, I I just really wonder, what is crime TV in Britain like? Because, you know, we got all our, like, nightlines and everything here. It's like, who killed the woman? Was it her loving husband and blah 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 what's it like in England because quite frankly they don't have as much crime I mean I mean in the current year we'll we'll see how it goes 10 years down the road England this was this was recorded in um 2004 so <laughs> in the future when this is up when I put it up for memory for in 12 years I hope this game was made in the last um <laughs> Was this game even out in 2000? I don't know. <laughs> what happened to your camera crew? <laughs> wow, we really slicked that one up. Uh, I'm sort of glad they didn't get mixed up in this too. It would sure be a shame to have a bunch of helpful people. Tell me a bit more about yourself. Why, well, that's so sweet of you to ask. We're in for it now. I'm a correspondent for the BBC, but you probably already knew that. I'm afraid I don't watch much television. Got her. This is what's called a neg, by the way. <laughs> See, she thought she was important, and then he brings her down. I mean, did I tell you the story of the one time I was at an airport, and I walked past Wolf Blitzer? Um... And I no, you've never told me about this. What was the situation like in that room? <laughs> um, I turned around. I was like, "That's a fucking Wolf Blitzer! God damn, he's just out and about by himself." Um, and then I didn't go up and say hi to him because I don't actually watch CNN. I only like read news. I'm from only their aware of Wolf Blitzer existing. <laughs> yeah. My own, my only knowledge of him, other than that, is that you know, you know, he does the Situation Room thing, and he uh, also um, does something's happened. <laughs> okay, now I'm certain there was context that was read by our audience there that I did not get. See, it's spelled A R T E F A C T S. Artifacts. Artifacts. Because we're in Britain. Um, long pause aside. So, do you think these are both encyclopedias? Like, the, these are the Christmas set of encyclopedias? Um, you see, the red ones are there because red is a color that naturally catches the eye. But you can't have them all red. So you have green there to like balance it out, to be like very s soothing and easy on the eye. No, oh, that's actually a weirdly competent answer. My uh, my encyclopedias were red, and they caught my eye so with like gold lettering, so I could say 
Encyclopedias, why would I ever use these? <laughs> and leave them on the shelf. I'm sorry, encyclopedia people. If our main fan base is encyclopedia enthusiasts, um, I'll leave some the video. Yeah, leave some really interesting uh, encyclopedia trivia um, in the comments section above or below or slightly to the left. Righto. To right. All right, so I think we've talked to Philip enough. What about Jim? Let's talk to the rocking chair. All right. Come on, Jim. Um, tell me about yourself, Jim. Um, why is your name Jim? <laughs> I was at a boarding school. I've been there since I was 10. Oh, that's... Okay. Almost 16. You look pretty tall for a 16-year-old. Like, Yeah, he also has like the salt and pepper. Well, I'm just going to assume that's the way the light hits his hair. You think it's the sheen? Yeah, it, it's... His hair is all gelled out. Pound. Okay, so I don't think they use pounds in Australia. Yeah, I think they use Australian dollars, which were made out of plastic instead of paper. Okay. Um, knock on the door, open by itself. I heard Richard dare me to take a step inside. This Richard sounds like a real dick. <laughs> Okay. Nickname jokes. Nice Thank you for that. I need to. I need to stretch my wrist out. I'm really. I'm really exhausted from all this playing I'm doing. Um, so Cortana wants to talk to us right now. Uh, we're gonna ignore her. Um, I have a special beta test version of Cortana that exists in 2004. Um, I, th I think that would make it alpha. Pre-alpha. I think Halo was out in 2004. The first Halo? Yeah. Yeah. First Halo came out in like 2001, I want to say. There's a pattern. Analyze the tapes, Johnson. We are, we already said some sort of intelligence is keeping us here. Why <laughs> is questioning that him talking about the house is intelligent? But Mulder, so aliens don't exist. <laughs> Do you think the house is haunted? Have you heard spooky whispers while we walk around? Like we're being watched, and then he like tilts over the bookcase and shouts, "Aha!" Kind of makes a mess. Oh, so it's like the Truman Show plus punked. Where has AJ got to? I was hoping he'd be here. He was doing some research on the house. He was going to share it with us tonight. Research? You know, these, these sprites are actually fairly good to, uh, to Mr. Croshaw's credit. Um, they are palette-wise distinct from each other. Um, only this character majorly pops out from the rest. Everyone else has a similar enough palette. Um, oh, day two. All right, so what was that noise? Huh? What was that noise? Oh, Jesus. No. Well, this escalated quickly. Simone, Philip, Jim? Oh, God. Who did this? What the? You did this? Stay back. I'm warning you. Who are you? 
who are you? And then it's actually him. It's Pocahontas. No, it was Trilby. Oh. Okay. Or, since he's not wearing his Trilby here, it's... Oh, no, nope, never mind. I've never dreamt so vividly before, he said out loud. It was so disturbing. Alright, so we're gonna, we're gonna save this, because we just hit day two, so... I think this is the save. Um, what are we gonna name this? We're gonna name this day two. Nice Good and creative. Right. So we're gonna pause this and we'll come back and start day two.